And it's, I'll tell you what, this is a great time of the week. We look forward to this. Uh, and by the way, Call of the Week will win a Klein Tools prize pack valued at 1000 bucks. Get the job done right with Klein Tools. The run over Joel and Fletch, thanks to the Hyundai Tucson run out. It's on now. Don't miss out. T and C's apply wherever you are. And Bunnings Trade is here to help. After the news, well, we've just had the news. So we're going to go straight to this bloke here. Oh, this bloke here. He just turns fours into six. He might have scored the four. We're talking about Jared Croker, and he's on the line. Hello, mate. G'day, boys. How's he going? Hey, Tootsie, can you see, mate? See us? Because I can see you. I can. Yeah, I can I'm, see you, mate. Yeah. I'm waving. You're not waving to me. Oh, there you go. I can see you, buddy. What yeah, is I can that? See you. Um, I've got a finger like yours. Can you just go around the. <laughs> can you go around. Um, you're in the man cave? Is this the little. I'm in the man cave, yeah. Can you give us. Yeah. Uh, this is the man cave, mate. I'm, it's not great I'm going radio. And I'll flip. It's not great radio, but nah, give us right. a pan around. What do you mean? It's not great radio. The bar. There we go. There's a. Oh, Winks. Winks. There's a jukebox. Yep. Where's. Is there. That's a great. That, this is great for radio. Oh, country. There's a country. Hang on. Who's the cricket? Uh, it's a signed Aussie shirt. Yeah. Um, Michael Clark. Usman Clark. Uh, Nathan Lyon, sorry, gave me that one. They've been on the oh, show, haven't they, Brian? They have. All the There's alumni. Tootsie. Boys, yeah. Look at him. That's a, that's a great... Pokey. Oh, oh Cardi. It's a card machine, isn't it? Yeah, Cardi. Oh, and he's got his little Incredible. drink his drink Mate, trolley. Yeah. What about the old TV there? How good's that? Tootsie, are you very neat? Because this is the neatest thing I've ever seen. Are you, yeah, are you... I am. I'm also not allowed Danny a lot. Why? Oh, <laughs> oh, what, what, oh, what about this room? <laughs> I end up in there. Oh, oh this is the sneaky. Uh, take me there. Uh, that's... I might need that room soon. Um, oh, that's good, yeah. isn't this it? This is great. This is great. Now, yeah. uh, to the listeners going, yeah, what are you back. bloody talking about? Mm. Jump on YouTube is the way to do that. Jump on YouTube and you'll see uh, uh, behind the scenes with Jared Croker, who's taking it. Brian, cave. what about, that's a great cave. <laughs> great cave. That is a great Nicholas. What? <laughs> Okay, righto, Tootsie, my punters club, and uh, we're blaming you. They are tuned to this specific chat. Yep. They love this chat. What's Tootsie got? Midweek trotters. What has he got? What did have we you get got? On, did we get on the crocodile last week? Oh, the oh, crocodile oh, sock. Didn't we walk? Oh, the dyslexic yeah. horse. Rolled that just the dollar, ca- rolled the- <laughs> it was just sitting behind <laughs> the dollar. The dollar 40 it, yeah, the dollar 40 yeah. pot. And just, I just, as soon as yeah. I saw coming into the straight, I said, we're home here. Yeah. Tell you what, yeah, the, um, beautiful. My pulled it early too. too. But um, you know what, Tootsie, you know what, right? So when you're driving in the car, the window in front of you is far bigger than the mirror behind us, right? So we, we've got to look forward. Exactly. As good as that was, go yeah, we've got to look forward. What do you got? We're going to Albury tonight. It's about 45 minutes away. The first, I think. Amen, sister. Uh, <laughs> race, race one, number four. Yeah, Blura, Blura Bella. I think the multi will be about three dollars. I reckon. Race one, number four. And race seven, number four. Ding, ding. Oh, race seven, number four. four. What was the first one? I was too busy. He, he one, up, the, race one, number four. Race one, number four. It, it was a number three, I mean, towards, but he's sticking with the centres. He's yeah. going four and four. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we're going to shift early ball out to these two, Brian. Well, um, you weren't listening earlier, Tort. You, you may have been. I've got the owner's tip. Tari's about to jump in a minute, two minutes. Race seven, number six. It's yeah, the right. owner's tip. I know That's no good to me. No. I'm no. live. No, owner's tips. A window, yeah. Owner's tips, unless it's midweek and the trots are rank anyway. Well, they've backed it. It's coming from. Oh, okay. That oh, changes. That's one of the weekend. That changes. You want to call back? <laughs> it's into $9.50. Uh, is that all yeah, we've got, Tots? Our horse, uh, our horse that, that'll do us for tonight, boys. It yep. should be a three bucks our multi. Yeah, we or something. love that. Um, got a few days of them coming up with Penrith and uh, Penrith Thursday battles tomorrow night, I think. But she's all about the. Um, the blacks are fake on the weekend up at Albion Park with Leap to Fame, so yes. it's a big week for the for the trots this week. Okay. Um, we had one. Speaking of owners, owners, we had captains not go around on the weekend in the consolation, and he got beaten by a, a pinky at about nine oh. to one. I think we ended up getting and just went enormous. So a little bit gut shot, but hopefully there's a couple at Albury get it back. Hey Tootsie, I want to ask you this. We're talking about so there's been about Brian. I reckon there's been now about eleven thousand. First grade debutants since 1908. Since 1908, is that all? And we're talking about one of the most prolific point scorers, one of the most beautiful, pure strikers of football. Mm, I know where this is going. Tootsie, the the field goal. Sorry, not the field goal. The dropout thing is starting to be very profitable. Why don't we see the short kickoff? I, I am convinced. In a matter of years, everyone will be doing it, but no one wants to join me in this party just now. You've got a chance to, as you would attest to, 
a kickoff is far easier than a dropout. Is it? Of course I, it is. I, I didn't know that. It's baseball and T-ball. When you're doing a dropout, you're playing baseball. There's a moving ball and you're moving leg. It, it is baseball. When you play kickoff, it's mm. T-ball. The ball's just sat there and you go bang. People like Tootsie Kruger, he could put it on the same blade of grass every time. Do you concur, Tootsie? Concur or not? Um, yeah, but the only problem with it is, is obviously, I don't know, we're trying to get rid of collision, but you get probably giving away 30 or 40 metres of yardage where it's hard to get a your own end. Whereas in good ball, if you, um, you know, there's actually a benefit. It's it's easy to attack probably from 30 or 40 out anyway, where mm-hmm. you start when you start a long set. But I do agree. I, I think if you can take the risk out of it, like in regards to a penalty, like we have with the drop dropouts, um, there's certainly value there. It, it's... Um, yeah, it's, it's a fine art too, but there's also guys that can put the ball, you know, right in the corner in the in goal area, and you start your start your set from five or ten meters out. So uh, you'd be sort of giving up forty or fifty yards in that regard. And and if they get the ball back, if you lose the short dropout, or the short kickoff, they're going to get the ball on halfway, and they're in an attacking situation. So I did see your tweet about um yes. Uh, Two two point goals. No, going it's not one. my tweet. Yes, it is. It's not my tweet, Tootsie. <laughs> it is. Uh, surely not... that wasn't a goal quicker. I did see. I just seen the last one. Man. I, I'm the conduit I'm, I'm to the people because no one no one will end up catching catching us. A couple of blokes at the yeah, top. Yeah, that's right. Clear, that's clear, right. Clear, clear, clear and Adam Reynolds <laughs> yes. won't get near me to be good. <laughs> yes. Mate, seriously, Brian, though, we, we are talking to yeah, of the eleven thousand people, one of the all time. Point scorers in the game. I, I could see the I could see the memory. And it wasn't my behind. bloody tweet. Brooksy, defamation nah, case. Boys after sort of getting out of jail on the weekend. I mean, you, yeah, you started really you started good, really well. What was Sticky's uh, message to the boys afterwards? Uh look, it was as you'd expect. He's obviously frustrated and disappointed with the way uh we finished that game in the second half, especially, but he also had said that you're better off, you know, you're happier standing here and talking about it after a win than a loss. No one mm. would care about it if we you know, it wouldn't be any good if we stood around after a loss talking about how bad we played. So it's it's the beauty of sport. You can play bad and still win. So um, look, the Warriors, they were pretty determined there as well. They had a lot of blokes go down and playing with blokes busted and backing up. So they were, they were quite determined. And um, yeah, look, Stick was, that was that was mainly his mentality. It was, you know, we weren't real good, but let's get on with it. We've just got to win games at the moment. And um, the beauty of having the Friday night game at home, we don't play till Sunday night this week now. Mm. So the boys have got like a nine or 10 day turnaround. So uh, a couple of days of freshen up. We're back in this morning and uh, just getting through a few things and more movement than anything and uh, get right into that preparation for the bunnies tomorrow yeah. morning, I'd say. Now the prodigal son is back. Yeah, that's right. Uh, back. Jackie yeah. White. How do you think... Yeah, mate, Jackie. Yeah, how, how do you think the fans... Do, do you think you'll get booed? I hope not. No. I don't think so. No, neither do I. I, I, don't, uh, I reckon I there's some players... Yeah. Some players won't... He's in that category. I don't reckon he'll get booed. Brian, I'll say no, this. If you I do, so. I'd like to think not. Raider, if you're thinking about booing him, Raiders fans, I'll say this to you. There is only one player in the competition right now and for a long time who has won a Clive Churchill medal and a Dallium medal and he represented the lime green. If you boo this bloke, what's Pepe Le Pewing, Brian? Mm. He would be a night. I, yeah, I'm with you. I don't think he'll get booed. I really don't. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to think not. There might be the odd one, but I think a lot of Raiders fans appreciate what Jackie done for this club for 13, 14, 15 years. You know, from a kid to the last year, and he played 250 games here. And like you said, all those accolades. And there's yeah. a couple of years where he, he carried us literally um, yeah. just just through you know the seasons that he had. So um, look, he's a fan. He's a you know the, the club still loves him. Um, got a lot of respect for him, and um, he's obviously one of my great mates off the field as well as as well as one of the best I've played with on the field. So. Um, yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think anyone to be booing anymore. There won't be too much going on, mate. I think you know he'll be probably nervous and excited to come back down here, and um, I'm sure the the boys will uh, be excited to go up against him. I'm just I'm, I'm glad I'm not playing against him. I don't know how it's feel again, you know, going against one of your really good mates. So yeah. um, I'll be glad I'm not out there on Sunday night. Left side, uh, you've scored a hundred and thirty six <laughs> NRL tries, and and to put that in context, only about eighty people in the history of the game have done that. 136, and you're well ahead of some. Tommy Turbo's got a sore two to join you. That's how good you've been, uh, Jared Croker. But most of those passes, or a lot of those passes, the last pass would have been Jared Croker. Mm. And I'm going to pass this to Brian Fletcher. Pass it to me. How do owner's tips go, Brian? Uh, no good. <laughs> owner's tips went shite house. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. it was looming. Oh, Save me money by being on yeah, 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 it. Yeah, it was It was Isaac. 
yeah. looming, looming. <laughs> but my eyes aren't great. So I saw seven. It was five that got the cash. So I was yeah. thinking, yes. But it was uh, race seven and five. Got, Owner's uh, tips. Just... Doesn't doesn't matter. I, 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 I just threw it out there. Yeah, I know. I know. But guess what? But, but you know what you did right, Brian? You disclosed your position. I did. And as soon as you said it was an owner's tip, I went, no further questions, Ronald. Yeah, I know. You were very good. Tootsie Tuesdays is on, though. Yeah. Stewie loves it. I just pulled over to get his tips. Yeah. I love Toots Tuesdays. Okay, let's repeat. Let's <laughs> repeat. Repeat uh, Tootsie Tuesday. Race one, number four, and race seven, number four at Aubrey. Okay. What could go yeah, wrong? 293 Brian? bucks, I think, for the moment. And yeah. um, what are you really gambling with? Yeah. And when's the Eureka on? Just... Not till September. Eureka's, uh, uh, I think it's the 7th of September. Um, and our horse, the, the little fellow that got beaten there by a nose on Saturday night, he went, those listening, 149 around Albion Park, which is absolutely low flying. Um, and he had to do it the tough way. So he'll be, he, you know, we just we need a bit of luck with the draw. He's drawn, since he's been up there, he's drawn 9, 10, 11, so, which is no good. Um, so hopefully he can get a nice draw in that Eureka and um, give him some, give us, give the boys something to cheer on. But I think that's the uh, 7th of September, so. It's getting pretty close now, actually. Mm. Yeah, how's Greggy going? Greggy Croker. He's good. Yeah, the old fella's good. No, he's going well. He's um, <laughs> what a man. He's up at my sister's house. In, well, we had the horse right in the Rising Sun up there at yeah. Albion Park a week and a half ago. So we decided to go up to Queensland for two weeks and visit my sister. So that's the life of real estate agents, mate. They just yeah. do what they want. Uh, yeah. yeah, but him and mum are up visiting my sister up uh, up at Marybar, up towards Bundaberg. So got to pick him up from the airport in a couple of days, mate. I'm sure he's sure he's enjoying the sunshine up there. Mm. I was I'm in the middle of nowhere in Mummel. On, on, a, on a property at Mummel, uh, uh, Beetle Bailey's there, and uh, Greggy Croker turns up. I end up in a headlock with Greggy Croker. He's old man mm. for about four hours. Does he go? Oh, right, wait, what a, what a on great the man. Ink? What? Yeah, of course we did. What a great man. Uh, Tootsie, well done, thanks, mate. Thanks, thanks for coming on. We appreciate it. We can't wait the next time. Thanks, boys. See you next time. See thanks, There he is. Uh, yeah, oh, we love the, uh, what do you call it, Brian? The Tuesday. I don't. Stewie does. Yeah, what is Tootsie it? Tuesdays. Tootsie Tuesdays. Tootsie Tuesdays outstanding. one 1170 We've got a break. We've got a break. Uh, a break.